It's about the people who are making money wanting to continue making the same amounts of money without paying the labor. The longer this goes on, where everybody recognizes the blatant hypocrisy in the system, the, the more ridiculous it's gonna look. Once the sort of curtain's been lifted, once they all get it, it's just not gonna work for much longer. It's just not. I think this happened in the Olympics a couple decades ago, really, is when that all started to change because it was just flat out unrealistic. The problem with amateurism in the Olympics is that it was extremely strict. By the time you got into the 1930s, the International Olympic Committee was already disqualifying people for appearing in advertisements. The sponsors were becoming more and more powerful and there was more and more money. They began to warm to the idea of making deals that if they were gonna soak in all this money, they were gonna have to share the idea of making money with the athletes. They can participate in the Olympics, but yet they can still do endorsements. They can still earn money on the side. They can go do a McDonald's commercial. For the gold and a Big Mac. And earn money. It was not against the rules. And yet that was classified as amateur sports. Johnny Manziel looks at the situation and goes, Wait, if I sign this picture here, or if I sign this football, somebody else is gonna make $500 on it, but I'm not allowed to take any of that? But I'm the one who put in all the work, I'm the one who's doing all the playing. Why is my university able to auction off my memorabilia, but I'm not? Why is the NCAA able to sell my memorabilia, but I'm not? Like, there's nobody who can give me a great answer to that. The NCAA Constitution says something along the lines of, the NCAA exists to protect athletes from commercial exploitation. But what the NCAA does is commercially exploit them. And so what they really mean is protect others from exploiting the talent that we're commercially exploiting. And the problem is that the university is capitalizing, the NCAA is capitalizing, and others are capitalizing, but the ones that are the brand are not able to capitalize at all, and some of them never will. That's what's so sad, is that for many of these guys, their greatest value in their entire careers, whether it be professional or just on the collegiate level, their greatest value is during that period of time that they're playing at that university. College athletes should be able to use their name to make money. The NCAA does it. You know, they're selling video games. So the schools are, they're putting players up on posters and banners and they're capitalizing as well. Why should the players not have the same rights? Because after all, it's their name.